Hello everyone, welcome to Glory Talk. Today is June 22, 2024, welcome. So I have another short little uh, word here from God, just something that he was talking about with me and I wanna get it out to you. So let's pray. Lord God Almighty, Lord God Almighty, thank you. You are worthy to be praised, bless your holy name. You are the awesome God, you are the only God, you are the one true God, bless your holy name. We worship you and we praise you, we love you, adore you. You are everything. Lord, I just pray that we hear what you want us to hear through the words you give us, what you're saying to us. Be open to it in our spirits. Be open to it mm, to hear what you want to hear, to see what you want to hear, and to be what you want us to be. And as we apply it to your lives and it changes us, it gives us everything we need, we come into full right standing with you and become the people worshiping you and serving you in spirit and truth. For your kingdom and your power and your glory in Jesus' name, amen. There was a little hint there. <laughs> All right, so let's get started on the word. Remember, uh, if you didn't know by now, I, I talk to God almost all day. Sometimes he's, he's really chatty and sometimes he's not. You know, there's some days that are a little harder than others. But, you know, it's all about your relationship with him and when he wants to share and when you want to share with him. Just get to know him. You know, you do need a rest at times, you know. But uh, God is so cool about knowing when to talk to you and knowing when to give you rest just like it says in the word and also went to talk to you and to really fill you up with what he is and what he's doing in your life so amen and i love you lord for doing that i thank you lord for doing that and i give you the praise for it in jesus name and remember to always give him praise always uh thank him and always come before him because that's what he wants he wants all this wonderful communication with you. That's all he wants. And he will change your life. He will change your life. Amen. All right, so I'm going to get this out to you. I heard this on April 9th, 2024. And this is just, uh, let's see, that's a couple months ago. But I just wanted to let you know what he was saying this day. He said, the change from one way to the next. And this is what he was saying this day. He said, the change from one way to the next. He said, transformation. He said, those who worship me will worship me in spirit and in truth. And he said, are you ready for the transformation? Are you ready for the truth? Do you really want to know me? <laughs> yes, Lord. He said, have you surrendered everything to me? Do you know who I really am? And he said, the days are here. You get to talk to me. What are you waiting for? I have always been here. I am waiting on you. And that's what he said that day. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for your word. So uh, this is what he was talking about that day. And so remember, you know, we're going to wait on the Holy Spirit a little bit here. Just be guiding by his spirit, because what? The Holy Spirit's here always guiding you, telling you how to get there, what to do. He's always guiding you and, and just leaning in and, and, and just, just rely on his flow of what he's doing, you know, in your life. And you'll, you'll understand how he does that as you get to know him more and more and more. <laughs> yeah. He is that still small voice. That's right. He has that still small voice it says in the word. Um, go ahead and look that one up. So I am being led to do some scripture here. Yeah, I'm being led to do some scripture here. So let's see here. Which one first, Lord? Which one first? Okay, so I believe we're going to go to, let's go to 2 Corinthians 1, 21 and 22. It talks about how God has given us the Holy Spirit in our hearts as a pledge, like a security deposit, and how it guarantees the fulfillment of a, 
of his promise of eternal life. And I love that one. That one's a good one. All right, let's do that. So in 2 Corinthians 1, verses 21 and 22, this is the Amplified Version. And this is what it says. Now it is God who establishes and confirms us in joint fellowship with you in Christ, and who has anointed us, empowering us with the gifts of the Spirit. And it is he who has also put his seal on us, that is, he has appropriated us and certified us as his, and has given us the Holy Spirit in our hearts as a pledge like a security deposit to guarantee the fulfillment of his promise of eternal life. Praise God. That's really good, Lord. Thank you. Praise you, Father. So remember when you ask Jesus into your life, you receive a deposit of the anointing. It's your greatest weapon against everything. And so when you re receive that deposit of the anointing, you receive whew, Jesus Christ. And it is who has anointed you. So let's go ahead and say this and say the word over ourselves and, you know, to each other, because you can do that. So now it is God who establishes and confirms us in joint fellowship with you in Christ. So that's what's going on there. He has anointed us, empowering us with the gifts of the Spirit. Remember, it is he who has also put his seal on us. There it is. There is a seal that he has appropriated on us and certified us as his and has given us the Holy Spirit right there so the holy spirit is dwelling in your hearts as a pledge it's like a security deposit to guarantee the fulfillment of his promise of eternal life so when you ask jesus into your life when you believe in him you secure a deposit to guarantee the fulfillment of god's eternal life because the holy spirit dwells where in your heart amen all right and then when you do that it's, we're going to go back to this, what he was talking about. He was talking about, so those who worship God worships him in spirit and in truth. So it's interesting how he was talking about this today. We need to be ready for this. We need to be ready for what God's going to do. We are transforming from one way to another, from one age to another. Um, this is an era that we're in. Um, it's no longer going to be the same way we're living. So when we switch from one way to another, we need to have solid faith in who God is. And when we ask Jesus to realize, we have to use the word of God in order to secure this, in order to see it in truth. Because when you do it in spirit, that's when the Holy Spirit comes in you. That's when you ask Jesus in your life and you get a deposit of the anointing and you get the Holy Spirit in your life. And so when the Holy Spirit comes in, you need to also have truth. And where do you get truth? You get truth from the Word of God. Amen. And from Him, too. So it says here, and I'm going to read Scripture. Yes. John 4, 23, um, I believe through 26. Let's take a look at this. John 4. Let's start at 23. And here it is. This is the Amplified Version. John 4, 23. And I'll go on from there. It says, but a time is coming and is always here when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit from the heart, the inner self, from the heart. That's where the Holy Spirit is. And in truth, for the Father seeks such people to be his worshipers. Amen. God is spirit, the source of life, and yet invisible to mankind. And those who worship him must worship in spirit and in truth. Amen. All right, so let's repeat this. Let's go over this again. So it says, But time is coming and is already here when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit. And that's when you ask Jesus in your life, you get a deposit of the anointing of Jesus in your life. And there, from this heart, the inner self, and you receive the spirit of God. Amen. And it says, We'll worship the Father in spirit from the heart. There it is. The inner self and in truth. And that's God's word and truth from him. For the Father seeks such people to be his worshipers. So God is spirit, the source of light. Whoops, let's do that right. God is spirit, the source of life, yet invisible to mankind. And those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. Amen. And um, let's see. So 
Are you doing that? Are you worshiping God? Are you ready for this transformation that we're going through? Are you ready to receive the stuff that's coming to you? The, the new life, the new wine? Because he's pouring out all this new wine on us. He's pouring us and we don't want to have the old wineskins anymore. We don't have we don't want to have the old wine. We want to have the new wine and the new wine skins in order to hold all this that's coming to us. We want to be ready with solid faith in what he's doing. And we want to be transformed. We want to get to that transformation. We want to learn this. We want to be refined because the holy fire is coming. It's refining us. And we want to house the glory that's coming in because the glory of God is coming more than the former glory, like the word says. And this is the age that we're coming into. And so are you ready for the transformation? Are you ready for the truth? Do you really want to know him? Wow. Have you surrendered it all to him? Hmm. Do you really know who he is? You know, we get to talk to him. That's what he says. We get to talk to him. He says, what are you waiting for? I've always been here. I'm waiting on you. He's saying, talk to him. Get to know him. Get to be refined in him. Get to be believing in him. Get to be having that solid faith to make it through this transition, to get to the next age and era. Because we've already started this transformation. We've got to do the work. There it is. Oh, Lord. We've got to do the work internally and through the word. We've got to seek him from our hearts, from our souls, from our beings, so we can get to where we need to be in Christ. We can get to be where, yes, so we can receive what he's doing in our lives and cleansing us and making us whole and refining us and giving us this wonderful gift of life, this wonderful gift of cleansing our souls and just making us all brand new again and Oof. and just being able to house the glory that's coming because we want to house that glory. We want to do those things for Christ. Do you? So guys, if you haven't asked Jesus into your life, just ask him into your life, believe in him. And he says, you need to, lead, to live a repentance lifestyle. And when you live a repentance lifestyle, you ask for forgiveness of sins because Without Christ, you're living a, a life of sin. And so you want to be pure and holy. And so you ask Jesus into your life. He comes in. He takes out all the sin. And you ask him to forgive yourself. You know, forgive your sins. Because you can't do it without him. To have this eternal life. To have this wonderful life of him. So you say, Lord, forgive me for sinning. And you say, I want you in my life. I believe in you. I want to follow you. And that's Jesus. Amen. And Jesus died on that cross for all your sins. So he took it on the cross. He took all of it. And he says, you died to sin and live for righteousness. That's what it says in the word. And then what? You're a born again. You're a child of God. You're following him. Praise God. Get to know Jesus. Get to know God. Get to know the Holy Spirit. They're always talking to you. The Spirit is always here bearing with you. Oh, my goodness. They hear it. Yes. Okay, Lord. The Spirit's always here talking. And so you need to tune into how he's talking to you. He is that still small voice and he will show you in his word. He will show you in things around him and he will just show up and he will change your life and you will dwell within. You'll have the Holy Spirit dwelling within you. You'll have the deposit, the anointing of Jesus Christ in you. You will have those things so you can do and have the ability to be that person in Jesus Christ. Amen. And then you can truly serve him in what? Spirit and truth. And that's what we're doing this for. We're doing it to have a better experience with God. Mm. Because we worship him in spirit and truth, in the word, and from truth from him. And in spirit, you need that because we're spiritual beings. We're just not winging it down here, you know? We need God's Spirit in our lives. We need to have it. We need to house the Holy Spirit. We need to house the deposit, the anointing of Jesus Christ. We need it in our lives in order to overcome all these things around us, to overcome all these awful things going on in the world so we can transition from one way to another. That's just the way it is. And so I'm really in challenging you to get to know God and get Jesus in your life 
and get the Holy Spirit working in your life, man. Because what? You will worship him in spirit and truth. And when that happens, it changes your life. And boy, does it, it does it so much. And you just start lining up and becoming more like Jesus. You become more like God. And it's all been designed that way. Yeah. And you will really enjoy it. There's days where you have to go some trials and tribulations and some tests. But you know what? It's really worth it because in the long run, you get this great eternal life with Jesus and, and God the Father and Holy Spirit. And we're not done yet. We've got to finish things up down here. And we're walking into our new... Oh, we're transitioning from one way to another. We're, we're walking into this new kingdom, and that's what he calls it, the kingdom age, you know. That's what he tells me all the time. It's the kingdom age we're coming into. We're already transitioning into it. So when you see things fall down around you, this is what we're coming into. So hold on tight. Remember, you're protected. You're protected as you're long as you're following Jesus Christ. And you don't give in to the fear and you don't give in to the anxieties and all the things that are going on in the world. And you keep moving towards Christ. You keep believing that he's going to protect you because he's a protector. And he's going to protect you through this whole thing. And he keeps saying we're in a Goshen. So we're being protected during this time, a Goshen. And this is our time to be protected while we walk into and be transitioned into this new kingdom age and era. Amen. So thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for taking care of us. Thank you for nurturing us. Thank you for refining us. And thank you for bringing your Holy Spirit and Jesus. Oh, Lord, Lord God Almighty. Father, thank you for bringing Jesus into our lives. <laughs> thank you for having your son die for our sins. Whew. Thank you for renewing us with your spirit, the Holy Spirit, man. And thank you for, for just giving us everything. What? Worshiping you in spirit and truth. Oh, thank you for being able to do that. And it's so worth it. And it's the best way possible because that's the way he designed it to be. He wants you to experience this in spirit and truth. Amen. You will get so much more out of life, a better meaning and a, and a pleasing worship experience with him because you're going to line up with him. You're going to line up with Christ. You're going to line up with God the Father and Holy Spirit. Man, and it's just going to flow. And experience him experience the fullness of who he is and what he is and how he's going to work in your life Whew. for god's kingdom and his power and his glory in jesus name i tell you what praise god Whew. that's a good one lord thank you all right so is there anything else holy spirit i'm going to wait just a little bit but i believe we're done and we're going to release we can release another blessing so i'm going to release a blessing to you let's do one from here Ooh. Okay, so let's do that. So may God give you everything you need. Yes. That he gave you as a pledge, as a security deposit, a guarantee to fulfill all his promises in your life. Whew. So Lord, I ask that you release the blessing to them. Yes. Release the Holy Spirit into everybody. Release the promises, the pledge, the security. Yes, release all these things into our lives. Yes, because we have received, once we ask you to our lives, Lord Jesus, we receive the deposit of the anointing. It's our greatest weapon against everything. So receive a guarantee. This is a guarantee, and it's the fulfillment of God's promise for you to have eternal life. Yes. So you speak that over yourself. You speak it over every situation. It reminds you of who you are. It reminds you of what's coming, and it because it's already here, but it reminds you of what you house. You receive a deposit of the anointing and receive the Holy Spirit. It's a security deposit. It's to guarantee the fulfillment of a promise of eternal life and to be successful and victorious over the devil. Amen. So I release that to you, yes, and say I receive all the promises of God. I receive all the promises of eternal life. I receive all all the fulfillment of God. There's something more here. So if you need more clarity, if you need more everything, if you need more of it, ask him for it. 
say, Lord, I want more of you. I want more clarity. I want more provision. I want more guidance. Ask him for it. I will stay right here with you and say, okay, Lord, I ask that these people, yes, the ones who are seeking you, Lord, I ask that we just receive more of you, receive more guidance of you. Yes, pray with me. And we receive more flow of the Spirit coming into our lives. We receive everything that you want to bring into our lives, the fulfillment, the promises that you made in your word. Yes, Lord, I ask that we receive all those things, the guidance, the promises, the fulfillment, all the things that you specifically want us to do. I ask that you guide us in the ways and give us the wisdom, understanding, discernment, Lord, yes and guide us in those ways to receive the specific giftings, to receive the specific one thing that you are to do and specifically guided by your spirit to fulfill everything we're going to do in our lives, yes. So Lord, I ask that you specifically guide us with your Holy Spirit and bring in everything we are to do, everything we are to be, everything we are to do in our lives and put it and fulfill it into our lives to, to put it in, receive it. And so it changes our lives and we do the work for you. Ooh. We do the things you're telling us to do. Yes, with power and might. And Lord, bring the power and might to do those things that we are going to do in you. And break down all the demonic, break down all the, the things that are preventing you from doing these things that God wants you to do and we tear it down, we cut it off at the root, and we send it to the pit, hell, and dry places. Wait, judgment there, do not come back, devil. You get out of here, devil. We cut you off at the root. We send you to the pit, of hell, and dry places. Wait, judgment there, do not come back. That's right. And so release the flow of the Holy Spirit. Release the blessings to you. Release the wisdom, understanding, discernment and release the flow of the Holy Spirit. Release the flow of the anointing. There it is. Release the anointing to you to receive what you're going to receive, to do those specific things you are going to do in Christ and fulfill them and be victoriously, be victorious in them, yes. And to honor you, Jesus, Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ. Yes, Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, Holy God. To honor you with them and be victorious and knock out the devil. Amen. Put him under your feet, just like it says, for God's kingdom and his power and his glory. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so thank you, Lord. We just prayed that in. I I tell you, I, did, I wasn't expecting to go there. We just kind of flowed with that. It felt like we were going there, and I just flowed with it. So if you needed that, take it. Say, I receive that in Jesus' name, and then go forward in Jesus' name. Be victorious in Jesus' name, and live your life fully and with the fullness of Christ in your life in Jesus' name. For your kingdom and your power and your glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, God. For your kingdom, your power, and your glory in Jesus' name. Whew. Well, I'll see you guys next time. I'll see you later. Goodbye.